Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to make a glowing object. Now there's two ways you can approach this and it's actually quite interesting what I'm about to talk about. So I basically have a third person template here. Uh, it's very easy and very simple uh, to set up. Make sure that you also have the starter content. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going uh, to uh, add in a blueprint class. So we need something um, to, uh, well, we basically need something uh, to, to edit. Um, and I'm just going to make it an actor here. And I'm going to call this statue. Okay. And I believe there's nothing called statue here, but let's just go ahead and let's double click on that here let's kind of move that all the way up to the top here and you can see that there is just a basically a placeholder sphere so you know where the origin is alright so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a static mesh and in that static mesh we need to add in of course a statue okay so there we go and this cool statue is actually pretty neat uh, it's a glass statue glass is really difficult to do and I'm quite impressed that we're at the stage we can just add it in here nevertheless let's add in our gold material and I think that looks pretty good and let's add in a gold material as well okay so we basically have a gold statue and all that means is that we now have well a statue that we can place and we can do other things with it here like if we wanted to animate it or or whatever so we can kind of maybe place that on the ground here and I think that looks pretty good. Let's move it over to the side. So when we push play, we can just kind of see it here. And there we go. We have a nice statue here. Now, the first way that you would make something glowing uh, is, to, um, is to simply make it uh, or just to add a light. Now, sometimes when you're do making video games, there's something that you want that would happen in real life, but you want to have an approximation in the video game, right? So let's say we want this gold statue to glow gold well how would we do that well let's hop back into our statue here and all we need to do is add in a light okay and we're going to add in a point light here and the light color we're going to change to um, a nice gold color and gold is actually kind of hard to do but but a nice kind of more of a deep orange color um, that would look pretty good so uh, if we kind of save that here and um, you know we can kind of see that here let's maybe bring up the intensity quite a bit. Uh, let's kind of hop back in here. And you can see, um, I think we need to compile that. There we go. And I'm actually going to delete that here. And there we go. We now have, well, there we go. We now have the, the color here. So you can go ahead and play with it. Now, if we look at this here, yeah, it looks like the point light is actually glowing here. But there's a few other th parameters that we might want to take here. So first, we might want to change the light to be up here. Um, the attenuation radius we might want to lower down and, and, and what you can see that does is that it, the light only goes so far. Also this is kind of casting a shadow so in this particular geometry you might want to move this point light a little bit to the to the right here and there you go you can kind of see that um, it, it's like that here and if you really want to you can kind of even maybe move it up above here and so there we go that actually looks pretty good it looks like it is glowing okay and if you really want to um, you could actually you know you could actually move one here and um, and yeah you can't actually copy something there but if we can actually uh, let's just can we duplicate it here yes we can all right so you could actually add in two of these like so and then that would be kind of interesting so that actually looks pretty good now obviously you might want to change um, like the intensity and the radius etc um, and then of course the attenuation radius you might want to make, make a little bit bigger uh, but you know the point is is that we we now have something that glows okay so this is one way of doing it this is the the, the way that I've done it here as I've basically added in a light and you can see it's pretty easy and it looks pretty cool actually you can see that it's glowing here and of course you can make this any color that you want right because the 
the light color here. And you do want to play around with it, okay? So that's kind of one thing to do. So let's go ahead and let's add in, um, let's, let's actually rename this to Statue Gold Light, because that's exactly what it's going to do. Let's go ahead and let's duplicate this here, and we're going to call this Statue uh, for now. And we're going to just change it up a little bit here. So now I, I've added in the second statue here. And let's make this glow, okay? So in order to do that, like, let's actually make a material that glows. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So let's make a material we'll call this glowing material, okay? And we can kind of open that up here. Now, glowing materials are actually fairly easy to do. Um, let's go ahead and... Um, and and let's do that here. So the first thing we need to do um, is add in a color, and um, we, three color blend. That's not the the right one. Um, but what we need to do is is basically add in a color here, and then we need to multiply into the emissive color. So what we need to do is add in a constant, and I'm just um, not that one, but uh, a constant here. And I'm going to add in a three vector here. So this is basically going to be, well, it's going to be that um, uh, that kind of uh, color here. Um, and we can just go ahead and push OK. OK, so that's going to be the color. And if we kind of just like put this into the base color here, you'll start to see uh, that it will, it will change the base color um, to whatever it is, right? And so uh, we, do, we do want to do that. Um, we kind of want to make this. Uh, Let's see, can I just do that here? For some reason, it's not uh, its not necessarily doing everything uh, the way I wanted to. But nevertheless, we can just simply add that uh, in here like that. And we need one other thing. And what we need to do is add in a constant here. And I'm going to convert this uh, to a parameter. And this parameter is just going to be called emission. And the reason why we're doing this uh, is just because we want to have, um, we want to make sure that we can can edit it later. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in a multiply, and we're basically just going to multiply one and two, and then drag that into the emissive color here. And I'm actually just going to get rid of this for the time being here. Okay. And what that should do is that that should um, basically make it so that it is emitting light. And so while we're there, let's go ahead and let's also convert this to a parameter. And then we're going to call this simply color. Okay. And from that, uh, we can also add in uh, this to the base color as well. So uh, we'll basically uh, pick um, kind of a color here uh, that we want. And I think maybe kind of like this orange color uh, is perfectly fine here. And, you know, what that should do is that that should... Um, and there's, there's an extra little uh, filament there. But what that should do is that should um, basically make it so that uh, this is glowing here. Okay. And, um, and if you look at this, um, and we kind of drop this, um, actually, we go back to our statue here. And if we look at this here, we're going to call this, uh, what do we call that material, by the way? We call this glowing material. Okay. So if we go, glowing material right and glowing material and it's it's rendering some shaders at this point but um, you can see that um, it will um, once it does render you'll see that it will have somewhat of an emissive um, uh, of, of an emissive quality to it all right and actually I don't think I, I saved it here um, that's probably why. And the saving can actually take a bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. All right, welcome back. So we now have, we basically have this here. And it's not as glowing as I would like it to be. So if we go and kind of move this this other statue out here, um, you can see that, well, it's not really glowing, is it? Well, there's a bit of a problem here, OK? So if we go to this glowing material, okay, we need to change. Um, we need to change this default value, and let's just change it to 20, okay? And what you'll see is that it'll take a couple seconds, and then it will start to be emissive, okay? And then 
there we go. We now have a statue that is a missive here. All right. And by the way, let's um, let's change this color here. Uh, not from uh, let's change it to something like a blue or something. That way we know um, that well it should be emissive uh, here. And I'll go ahead and save that here. And the statue, like if we go ahead and save it, um, you'll start to see uh, that the statue here, uh, well, is now blue. Okay. And if we move this over, right? We kind of push play. Well. There we go. It is emitting a blue color, but it's different, right? You can see that this blue color is quite uh, is quite different here. Now let's go back into this um, into this here, and um, if we really wanted to um, uh, change this glowing material, okay. And if we go back to the emissions here, um, let's see what what is the like. Well, we can make this as bright as we want, but you know there is a limit. So let's make it a hundred. Let's save it here and let's hop back to the to the um, to the example map here. And what this should do is that this should actually make it quite bright, and um, and eventually you'll start to see that there is kind of an upper limit to what the brightness is. And you can also see that the the pattern is quite different. So here you can see that this is much more of a glowing effect. Now personally, I like the lights better than this one, and it might not seem like it's the the one to do like if if you were like if I was making a lamp I would want it to glow right and this is the thing that you would want in reality but when you make a game sometimes things uh, don't work out the way you want it to and you have to find a different solution and this is a good one too so you can see that we have two glowing objects here one is using lights and no emissive uh, materials and the second one is only an emiss emissive material now you can actually do both but mm, it really depends on what, why you'd want to do that. Okay, so if we go back to our statue here, there's no reason we can't put in a point light here, and you know, kind of move the point light up, you know, change the intensity, uh, lower the, lower the um, attenuation, and then make it, you know, just a simple uh, blue color. Like, there's no reason we can't do that. And the only difference is that you can see that if you really wanted to do this, you would you would still get that glowing effect. And you'd also get that emissive effect as well. So it's only if you want the emissive effect and the major light effect that you would do this. If you just want a regular item, um, then you might want to do that as well. Now this looks a little bit better because it looks like it's actually emitting light. Uh, but you know, this one also, uh, you know, I could see myself using that if I was making a game where I collected gold. Um, uh, if I was collecting gold statues, then I might I might actually do this, right? So it all depends on what you want to do uh, personally, all right? So there you go. Uh, thanks for listening. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you really like this tutorial, you can help Mammoth Interactive out by purchasing some of the courses down below. It really does help us out uh, when, when people do that. And our goal is to get to 10,000 monthly subscribers, all right? Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.